Hi, I'm Charlie from Team 3121AW, and this is my robot in a lot of time. We began work on this in like early July, but it took us a while because I was on vacation a lot and had a lot of stuff going on, but it's finally somewhat finished, so I wanted to make a video and kind of show it off. I'm sure you can see like a lot of inspiration from Joseph Lippert's design. He's my sensei after all, but my goal going into this was trying to make a robot that could not only hold the blocks, but also be able to take them back out of that storage and refuel them. Because his robot, like, they could only sort them and then they're gone. But this one, it can sort them and then bring them back later. And I also really like the back out take design because it lets you go, like, from loader to goal to loader for goal without having to, like, turn around so much. So, yeah, we really got that out of this robot. I'll go ahead and show off the drivetrain for this thing. We used uh, 600 RPM, and you can like see the IQ gears in here. That's just because we don't have enough V5 gears here at the Attic Lab. But if this robot was to be used in competition, we'd swap them all out ahead of time. So yeah, good solid drivetrain here. I probably need to put like some tipping things on both sides, like some gears to prevent it from tipping, but that's not that big of a deal. And then... Um, next we'd have the intake we've got this like um mech obviously to like get it out of the loader uh i haven't done any max for it yet because i don't feel like it then we go up to intake intake is very very smooth especially for a 5.5 watt uh we had an 11 watt on this before but it just ran so smooth we didn't feel like it was necessary and then here we have like the sorter so they come up through the middle right here and then the sorter like grabs them up here and puts them in the basket and then the bottom sprocket takes them out of the basket into the intake and funnels them up so up here for the outtake we have it to where you spin this one and then you spin this one and then it goes out in the top roll or you can do it spin this one and then spin your second roll the other way and it goes into your middle goal. So very efficient mech right there. Um, you might be able to tell we have five 5.5 or four 5.5 motors up here. I think that's awesome. Never done anything like that before. Always used 11s, but it works really efficiently. Uh, the only thing I wish is if we could store more blocks up here because we can only store like six or seven of them comfortably. But we make up for that with all the storage down there. That thing can hold at least 15. We're pushing 20 right now. So that, that's awesome. You may be wondering about the sizing on this monstrosity and it's very, very close. I'd say it's in size, but it would be by like less than an eighth of an inch. So yeah, there's that. And there's also width, which it's about the same thing. And then height, height, we're good. Height, we have like almost a half an inch. So we're good there. But yeah, this thing is a beast. It's very, very big. So competition robot might need to be like smaller. But the way I think I do that is we have like all of the stuff built on the inside of the drivetrain, have like the wheels on the outside. I'd make it flush and I'd like put this beam on the outside right here and it would be like just barely wider in here, but the whole robot would be so much skinnier. That would fix that. And then also like this whole part right here, like all of this could shift back one and it really won't have an impact. So I'm not really worried about sizing. It might be a little out of size right now, but for competition, we'll be perfectly fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and show off this intake. So yeah, very good, very good. This bad boy can even take two at a time, kind of like how some of the full volume bots used to. This time I'm gonna give you a side angle and we're gonna put them in the basket, see how that goes. As you can see right there, 
some of them would go in the bottom roller and some of them would go in the top roller. When we were building this, we intended them to just all go in the top roller, but that's kind of just been like a happy accident because they have like two chances to make it in and it like, yeah, it lessens the chances of one getting by and going up here. So very good thing to have on your robot. This time we're showing them off going from storage up to top. So let's see what happens. Yeah, we don't have any like funnels here like we do up here with these rubber bands yet. So I didn't really expect that to go too well, but if you give it a funnel, it'll work just fine. Don't worry about it. Here goes five cubes up top. So, I mean, I wish we could get it a little smoother, but for just finishing this mech today, I feel like that's a pretty good starting place. Here is robot putting block in the mid goal. It does that. That is the thing it does. Overall, I feel like this is a really good starting point for us this year. This time last year, we hadn't even built the hero bot yet, so we've improved. And I'm hoping to have another bot built early September. And I want to let me know if you guys want me to do more stuff with this robot, or if you'd rather just me move on to the next one straight away. And yeah, that's about it. See ya.